Tesco V Cut Original Crunch. They're actually pretty good. Not bad. Okay, day three on this adventure, and we're getting ready to head back to the hotel to pick up the passport and on our journey back to Kamala. Ugh, actually looking forward to it. Even though this hotel room that we stayed at here, and I'll put it in the description, was awesome. TripAdvisor, here I come. Yesterday when we were here, they didn't have this set up like this. These are all separate units, and he was putting covers on them yesterday, but now it's a nice table. Actually though, I really wonder what that little place up there is, like a restaurant or a lookout point or something. That's a good view. Because if I look high enough, you can see the water over there. Leaving Malaysia. Okay, so now we're happy, excited in the car, heading back to Thailand. Everything is set, everything is in order. This is actually the bridge that connects uh, Penang with Malaysia, or but well, you know what I mean. It's the big long bridge to get over to where we were staying, blah. What I didn't realize was I thought we were gonna go back to the border um, and I would start filming again and, and show you what the border looked like. And you know, once we got over, just some cheery, oh, we're back in Thailand. But that isn't what happened. As a matter of fact, the day went so negatively, I didn't film anything this day after this scene here. However, I will follow up with this. Oh, so obviously we made it back to Thailand. As I said, that day was so stressful that I didn't even take the camera out to film anything because my attitude, or it was very stressful. When we arrived at the border, they allowed us to take the car through, which means you drive the car actually into Thailand. No checks, just go into Thailand. You still don't have your immigration papers. Uh, stamp. So we go and we park the car, and once we park the car, we go back. Now, at the way the border is set up, there, there are little booths in the Malaysian border to uh, Thailand. I'll say there's probably nine. There could be 15, but I'm just gonna say for the sake of nine. One line, I guess, is for buses. One line is for cars, and one is for trucks, and we only go usually to the ones for the bus or the cars. The only one I had ever been in before was the one for the bus, so I get in line with my passport. Obviously, filling out the, uh, um, departure card because in Thailand for some reason you still have to fill out a departure card I really don't know why I've never been to any other country with that. so I'm standing in line and when I get to the end of the line the gentleman and I will say gentleman he was polite he said that I was in the wrong line I needed to be in another line because I came in a car okay so in, he said go to number seven booth number seven or eight ah okay booth number seven or eight so i get in line go to booth number seven or eight. Oh, and just for a side note if you're in line and they decide that they're going to go on break they just walk away and you have to leave and go back into another line so when i get to booth seven slash eight he takes our documents and he looks at us and he says you need to go to booth 13 or 12. mind you i was just at the uh, i was just at booth 13 or 12 when they told me to come to seven or eight and he looks with his hands he's like booth over there all right so i jumped in this one little uh queue got there and as soon as i got to the window the officer says what do you want uh, uh immigration stamp what do you want in, uh to enter thailand and all he said was twenty thousand baht and i asked i said excuse me he says twenty thousand baht I don't have 20,000 bucks. So he hands me my stuff back and he says, you have to go to the office. Well, he didn't say if it was gonna cost 20,000 baht or if it, without me going into a long ex explanation of what happened, here's the sign and I'll explain it. So you have to show 20,000 baht in cash. 
But who carries around 20,000 baht in cash? Now, I mean, mm. So the stress level goes up. So I go to Andreas and I tell Andreas, they want 20,000 baht. We don't have 20,000 baht. I think I had eight and Andreas may have had the same, maybe nine. So we even didn't have enough for that. So we start looking for, so we're looking for a Western Union so he can call his wife and get her to wire some money, but it's after six. So the Western Unions are associated with the banks on the border. Mm. So I go to the ATM and I pull out the very last little bit of money that I have at all. And I have to pay the 200 baht ATM fee and have to pay my bank fees for this small little amount of money that got us over the 20,000 baht number. At this point, I will completely say that my tolerance was at an all-time low and Andreas was keeping me calm instead of me keeping Andreas calm because Andreas had just went through all of that hassle back in Malaysia of having to show the deporta deportation, having to show the, the trip out on airplane or bus. We didn't know you could do a bus, so we did the airplane. Bus would have been a cheaper ticket to show, so FYI, show your bus ticket out. Get a bus ticket out. You don't have to get an airplane ticket. As far as I know today, it could change tomorrow. I hate to even give advice. So now we have 20,000 baht. Cool. We pull the money and give it to Andreas. Oh, by the way, you had to fill out a, this whole form on what kind of car you have, where you, where your tags are, what kind of car you have, the tag, who owns the car, etc., etc. So Andreas has this piece of paper. I do not. Andreas goes and he comes back. He says, they took my paper, they gave me the stamp, and they didn't even ask me to show the money. What? He gives me the money. And I said, well, which number did you go to? And it was number 13, where we had been before. But he said, go to the, there's two, two officers per booth. Anyway, it's getting, it was getting later. It's like 6.30. I think the border closes at 11, but still. So I get back in line, I go there, and I hand the man my documents, and I've got the money in my pocket ready to show. He didn't even look at my eyes. He just looked at the paperwork, saw it was in order, checked stamp, and let me go about my way. And I've had so many conversations with people about this, and it's just so odd that you could go up to one officer and they could be very, very strict, slash um, unhappy and then you could go to someone else who's just enjoying their day and just having a good a stamp away i will not go across the malaysian border in a vehicle again it will be only by air and there's reasons for it and i the reasons are basically flying in has a better priority than driving in and the visa services they can still help you out with that I saw a whole visa group in vans just going through without much headache. Andreas and I had much headache for probably 45 minutes just trying to get a stamp when we had everything in order. But so that was it for the rest of the day. I didn't film because I was in a, such a totally awkward mood and I don't like to say anything really negative about the immigration process here, but it just changes all the time. It's constantly changing. And even if the rules, I saw some people write, these rules were in place before. Yes, but if they didn't implement them before and you've done the, the, the border crossing before, you're not expecting it to change again. So even Fawn, even Fawn who deals with immigration every day has messaged me and said, just, you know, be, make sure everything's in order because immigration is tightening a lot of things up and they are. So. That's it for this video. I just want to let you know we're back in Thailand and there's a big truck behind me instead of the view that I had for you. There's the view over there. You can still see that. Oh. Yeah, back. Uh, visa's all good. Everything's good to go. It was just... It was just a very, very awkward, stressful moment. I'll have to be complete. Anxiety. It created way too much anxiety for what was going on. It should have been just simple because all the documents. So that's it. Uh, if you're going to cross in Malaysia, good luck. Uh, just, that's all I have. To, I don't know what else to tell you. Otherwise, I would say fly. 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 Can you take this asshole back to America, please? Oh. Oh. Pretty good. Don't forget that. Uh -huh.